Welcome to day one of the MLB Draft Combine from Chase Field in Arizona. The top high school and college player prospects showcased their skills this week, giving all MLB clubs another opportunity to evaluate this year's draft class. It should be an impactful few days here in the desert. Alongside Sarah Langs, I'm Dan O'Dowd, and it's time for batting practice. So let's focus on what's happening down in the cage. Sarah, BP started now, and uh, this is where the scouts really, really bear down. They're looking at presence in the box. They're looking at the balance rhythm and timing of the swing. They're looking at how clean a swing path is. They're looking how connected a player can be to a swing. And they're looking at the ability if they can hit the ball the entire field. And there's so much data that comes along with BP. We've got exit velocity, which means we can look at how often the player is hitting the ball hard. In the same age, hitting the ball hard has an actual definition. That's 95 plus miles an hour. And why do we care about that? Because in today's game, if you hit the ball hard, you're going to hit about 500 on those batting balls with a 1,000 slugging percent. Another stat we'll look at is launch angle. And what we define as a sweet spot batting ball is 8 to 32 degrees of launch angle, basically a line drive. So I'll be looking at how often these players will be making that kind of contact as well. You know, I think about big league players like uh, Alvarez, Judge, Otani, Trout. Um, their hard hit ball data is crazy. Their launch angles are very, very, very consistent. And you add all the things that we're evaluating and think about, Sarah, the pressure these young players are under right now. It's probably the most pressure-packed BP these players have ever taken in their careers. That's exactly what you want to see in a BP from a scouting perspective. Backspin line drives all over the field, effortless in his power to right center and left center, and tremendous balance and rhythm and timing right throughout his swing. We're going to focus on the first basements now. For me, this is what I call an awareness position. You always have to be aware of, of where you are in the field and what type of play you have to make to affect the outcome. So we're going to look at double play turns, watch footwork and the accuracy of the arm and the slot the arm comes from because your slot's got to be true. The ball's got to be true to second base. We're going to look at bunt plays, how quickly they charge, are they in control of their movement patterns, can they make an accurate throw to third base on the run. And then we're going to look at plays at the plate, the do or die plays. So we're looking at how they handle the pressure of making the throw under those kind of conditions. Obviously, for first baseman, we're not going to focus or glorify arm strength in quite the same way. You have to make some crucial throws. That's not what I focus on here. Here, I really think about range. And that's where we can think about those range-based metrics that we have, of course, not in the moment, but what comes out over the course of the season. Things like outs above average and ultimate zone rating. Those are stats which we'll take a look at every ball that was hit in the first baseman's way and how accurately and well he fielded that ball. Sarah, this is the one position on the field where you have the opportunity to pick up your teammates defensively night in and night out. They need to know that they've got a first baseman over there, like a Paul Goldschmidt, for an example, that any ball in the general vicinity, they're going to make that play and they're going to save the club for an error. It's a position of accumulation for me of a ton of reps. It's something you've got to work on on an everyday basis 
So we're beginning to get a feel for the athleticism of these players and their ability to actually be able to do that day in and day out. Tough round for this young man. Uh, you can see he's putting a lot of pressure on himself. You know, he looks like he's very raw in his skill set. But I love the deep projection on him. He's just a kid that you're going to have to be very, very patient with, with his development timeline, and really to get him a firm understanding how his body needs to work fundamentally to be able to be a consistent fielder. Cada día más bogaciéndome